The whole idea of the casket girls, right? That comes from the French wanting to make sure that the colonists here are wedding and colonizing with European women. And we have records of them doing so in Canada, in Mobile, in Biloxi. And they came from orphanages, they were overseen by nuns, had also come to New Orleans. You know, the French do this all the time, right? They want this colony to be French, they don't want the Native Americans. It's a long practice of them saying, we gotta send over European brides, French brides as well, to make the colony stick and make it French. When you're underneath the hallway from the sun for a transatlantic journey, you're gonna come out pale. You're gonna come out emaciated. So when they get out, the colonists see these women, they think, I like the homeless better. And they come out with these things called cascades, or little boxes. And it said immediately upon, well, arriving in the city, very strange things begin to occur. The colonists begin to find bodies drained of all their blood. Puncture wounds in the neck, right here. There's also some myths about how one becomes a vampire. Having the funeral, having the wake, and a cat jumps up on the coffin. You gotta go dig that body up a few weeks later. You gotta cut its head off. Now, obviously, I would say that the Archdiocese, they want to separate themselves from being associated with vampires or anything that could be, you know, construed as satanic. I mean, that's not really holy. I mean, albeit, as the story goes, they've constructed a prison for these vampires. In my opinion, they would not want to have anything to do with it. If you ask them, they would shut you down. They would tell you that it's, uh, Fictional, that's what they would probably tell you. Um, whether or not it is, I mean, they wouldn't tell you anyway. They would tell you that it's, you know, they would shut you down. Now, the old thing about crosses and holy water, in terms of vampires, we know that that's actually not effective. What can you do? Well, it's said they don't really know how to kill these vampires. They're not familiar with that kind of literature, that bit of folklore. So they do the next best thing. They import nails that are blessed by the Pope in the era. What they end up doing is they go, they nail the shutter shut. One nail iron, ding, 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 one nail silver. Up and down, okay, they put multiple in each. And they nail the passageway, more or less, up to the third floor, shut. The attic is a huge point of mystery. Not very many people have been in the attic. I've lived in the French Quarter since I was eight years old. I have never seen those shutters open. Not once. Not once in my life. Have I ever, and by the way, I'm here every single night. I've never seen the shutters open. There's a story that happened in 1978, and that was these paranormal investigators took a tour of the convent, and they tried to hang out on the premises so they could catch a glimpse of the vampires after dark. They're evicted, pretty quickly caught, and they're thrown out on the street. So they think, okay, no matter, we're gonna set up right across the street. I mean, we're right across the street right now. It's pretty much where we're standing, yeah? We're gonna set up, and we're going to do a little investigation of our own. They set up a camera, and their plan is to film it all night long, because now there are rumors that sometimes the shutters will open. Sometimes these beings will get out, and when they get out, they're not too kind to the locals. We're more of cattle to them than we are human beings. It's New Orleans, they're from out of town, they're paranormal investigators, and in New Orleans you drink, and they drink. And they drink a lot, they think it's gonna be fun. They get really drunk and they pass out with the camera rolling. Now as the story goes, the camera goes out, the wind picks up, there's a bit of movement around the shutters. The shutters begin to rock back and forth. And right as it appears they're going to open, the camera cuts out. The next day, they're found on the steps of the chapel right here. Classic puncture wounds, pale, drain of their blood. I often tell my guests that if you see the shutters open, the best bet is to pick a street and begin to run. I would say that not all of what we call history is true and not all of what we call folklore is false.